hello welcome back to my channel this week i am in the throes of christmas markets so every weekend until the 18th of december i have a christmas market that i'm doing um somewhere in some city in southern california this week is actually my biggest market it's two days and it's downtown at the pier in san diego it's called makers arcade it's really a great market everyone there has high quality handmade goods and um it's very very busy last year i did it for the first time for the christmas market and it was packed it could have been maybe because a cruise ship pulled up beside us and all these tourists got off and flooded you know the market but it was wonderful so i thought this week for this studio vlog i would show you how i prep for this type of maker's market and thought I'd bring you along. Okay, let's go. Okay, so the first thing I do is I'm gonna go through my inventory. I always pack up my cards like this. Um, I have them organized by birthdays, Christmas, just kind of all in a row. And then what I like to do is make sure that I have 10 of each. So you can see some of these sold and I think they're down. So I'm just gonna go ahead and refill all my greeting cards to make sure that I have 10 of each design and that's the first step um, in prepping for my next fair so this is from my last show this is what I have left so let me just go get the rest of the cards fill it back up and then this will be good to go okay so I've upped all my cards to make sure I have the most some things I'm don't have enough stock in so it is what it is but I did pack some of these Christmas card boxes. I'm just gonna see how like the little five packs sell. So I made some of those. I've added those and this box is ready to go. So next thing I have is just my gift wrap and I'm gonna just make sure that these are filled full. The good thing, this is a two day show. So if I do run short with the gift wrap, I can go ahead and make some more tomorrow night if it sells out and restock. But I do have like a lot of all my different types of gift wrap. So I think these two boxes are good to go for now. So this box is kind of like my mishmash box. What I have in here are my mini cards. So they're like my little mermaids, my little tooth fairy cards. I wanna make sure that I have enough for the first day of the show. I have my stickers, these are some of my older ones. Um, but then all my new stickers, I started packing them in just these Tupperware containers. I've noticed that if you don't package them, the edges of the stickers will collect lint and stuff like that. So I am not a big fan of the lint collecting. So I'm gonna go ahead and pack my stickers, make sure they're all done. I have my business cards and I also have some hand sanitizer just because you never know so I like to have that on hand and some of my customers like it too now I have these these are just clips they're so good for like your table they're just like super necessary I use them all the time to like put tablecloths back or to hold up signs or to use something so I have them in multiple sizes I got these from Home Depot I absolutely love them then I'm gonna add all my pricing cards. So I have all these different pricing cards that I've made up and I just use them and I put them around. So my pricing goes in there, some pricing sheets that I have, some other things. I will probably actually redo this one. It's like a sign I use, but I'm gonna make a new one tonight and take that with me. Then this is the straps to hold up my vinyl sign. Um, I love these, I also got them on Amazon. They're great, so they make holding up my sign really easy. And that's it for this box. I'm gonna go ahead and close this one up and it's ready to go. Okay, so here I have like these shopping bags that you can get from the store, the reusable ones. I love these because uh, they're very durable. I pack my candles in here and then I also pack my tablecloth and my backdrop and things like that. So it just keeps it really protected. I also have another box of candles here, so more of my candles, which I'll put in my front seat when I go down. Honestly, candles are probably like the biggest vein of <laughs> packing because they're heavy and I have to take them up and down the stairs. But Okay, so I have my table under here. This is my big card sign. I made this myself. It took me like a couple weeks to make it. You'll see it when it's all set up. 
I have my sign, which is wrapped up here. I'm packing some bags so when people purchase something, they can put it away. These are my mystery bags. I sell them for a lot cheaper. They're just like discounted stuff. I bring my baskets so I can put my gift wrap in it. I've got like some fake plants just for aesthetics. And then these blocks here, I love these because if things are uneven or which quite often happens, I have a bunch of different size blocks that I use just to like prop stuff up. I don't need a pop-up tent because I'm not, I'm gonna be inside. So all I need to bring is my chair and I might bring this side table. I bring it sometimes just in case if I can get some extra space. This has been helpful in the past. So I'm gonna pack all that and then I'm gonna pack my boxes of product and I think we'll be good to go down. Okay, I totally forgot that I had to pack this. This is my candle ladder, so got that in there. The wagon will go in the front. This thing's kind of fragile. I don't want anything to like scratch it or break it. See how many shows it lasts for. But that's it. So it's fully packed, except for the wagon. I'm gonna go get my keys and we're gonna go. Hey guys, this is Sophia. Hi. This is Jen. They're helping me move in. <laughs> Woohoo! We have our stuff here. It's cold. Freezing. We're all done. That's Jenny's booth. You'll see it tomorrow. This is my booth. It's a surprise. Surprise. <laughs> it's a surprise. <laughs> this is everyone else setting up before all the wonderful things happen. Woohoo! All right, let's go. Hi, we're here at Sushi Spot. We're gonna have some sushi. <laughs> we are. You want pancakes? Oh my pancakes God. Saturdays. Hey guys, so it's the morning of our show. I'm here with my lovely friend Ryan and his wife Jen, who's also <laughs> gonna have her table right beside me. She's just picking up some pots from her warehouse. And then Ryan is driving us in and he's gonna drop us off at the show, I'm so excited. This is my friend Jenny from Braden Wood. Hi. How are you feeling about doing your first Maker's Market? Well, Maker's Arcade Market. So. This is the first time I've ever exhibited at Maker's Arcade, and I'm really excited. I feel really confident because I'm going with a veteran, <laughs> Rachel from Pancake Papery, who you all know and love. Um, also, my BFF, and we're gonna rock. Out. Yeah. All right. So it's just before we open up, and I am all set up. I'm gonna show you my booth. Here is my stationery. And this 
this is Jen's booth, who's right beside me. This is my neighbor, Cassie. Hi. She's setting up. Look at all her pretty gems. Right, you're gonna be on my YouTube. If you want cute custom ornaments. Woohoo! This is my friend Parker. Parker designs all of his own artwork. He's an artist first, manufacturer second. You can find him at Parker Made. Hey guys, it's the end of the night. It was a wonderful first day. I sold out of my wrapping paper, a few of my designs, a few of my candles. So I have to go home tonight, restock. We have one more day tomorrow, and then I'll be back. So yeah, I'll show you what my booth is like right now. So I only have two rolls left of this, one of this, two of this. This one's sold out. I'm gonna have to restock some of the cards. You can see I've got like one left of this one. Woohoo! This is it for the candles. My best seller. Only one left of those. Here we are. Hey guys, we're here. Day two has already started. I got off to a late start. It's freaking crazy. Okay, there's Jen. She's my booth mate. <laughs> so anyways, we got here. We had to set up. Things took a little bit, but uh, yeah, I'll show you what it looks like. One roll of this left. I sold out. I managed to restock these. I sold out of all my mystery bags. They're no longer, so I refilled it with candles. And this is where we're at. Day two. <laughs> Come on. Let's have some momentum. <laughs> She's like, we are a little tired. This is Harper. I just met Harper's my new bestie. Like kind of bestie. Yeah, she's like, a saggy. Kind of Sagittarius, you know. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> hey guys, I am done the show. I've got my little Hulkin bag here. I'm walking to my car because I have to bring my car back to where I can get the rest of my stuff, like my table and everything. All in all, it was a great show. This is like the best show. I sold out of a bunch of stuff. It was super fun. I'm tired. It's very sad. This is closing down. Saw the vendors go home. End of the day. And here is what's left in my booth. All right, guys, it's over. I'm in my car. You can see we're at a crossing here for the train. Here's the train. We gotta wait for it to pass. But that's it. That's a wrap. I love the red light happening here. Thanks for watching this vlog. I hope you liked it. And if you do, please like and subscribe. Thanks so much. Bye.